This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a processor into an HP Z440 workstation. So if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. You just go to www.GreenPCGamers.com. In your case, you probably have a Z440 if you're watching this video. Um, so click on the blog page and search Z440. It's going to bring up an article called HP Z440 Gaming Computer and Other Hardware Upgrades. Click on that. And this page will show you a bunch of awesome upgrade ideas for your HP Z440 workstation. Um, all the information is free. Um, we just provide you know, links and other cool things so that you can upgrade your HP Z440 workstation. All right, so let's get to our actual install video. Um, first thing you want to do before you upgrade your processor in HP Z440 is update the BIOS with the existing or original processor installed. Um, you'll definitely want to do that um, so that you have all of the microcode updates available uh, for when you install your upgraded processor. If you don't do it, sometimes you won't get video if you have a really old BIOS version. Um, so uh, it's just good practice um, to do that. Um, the processor that we are going to install is a Xeon 6-core E5 2643V3 proc. It's 3.4 gigahertz, 20 meg, uh, 9.6 GTS, uh, runs at 3.7 max turbo frequency. And we are uh, we are basically upgrading to get more clock speed, and we are going from a 4-core to a 6-core proc. Um, we plan to use the system for gaming. Okay, so here's our HP Z440 workstation. Um, it is a refurb box. And here is our processor and our heat paste from Shinetsu Microside. They make awesome heat paste. All right, so put your system on its side. Remove the side panel like so. Really easy to do. Uh, now you have access to the inside of your system. Now we have to remove this cooling shroud to access the heat sink and the processor. So um, it, you might want to watch that over and over again um, just to see how we did it. That left side's kind of hard to remove, so that's why we had two hands removing the left side and then the right side shimmies right out. All right, so here's our heat sink. There are four screws that we need to loosen, and you want to use a T15 to loosen those screws. And we do this by hand um, so that we don't break off the, the, uh, the screw. Uh, if you use a power drill, there's a chance you can break that off. And we go um, kind of like an X. We remove each side. And if you, you can use a flathead, but a T15 really is where it's at. It works really, really well for removing this heat sink. Now, you'll see there's a fan on the heat sink as well. So you want to remove or unplug that fan once you have loosened your heat sink. Now, we missed one little screw, so we're going to we're gonna loosen that with our hand. Now we have access to our processor. All right, so... We are going to install an E5 2643V V3 processor. Um, so the we just showed you the little dimples. And we want to line those dimples up with our processor slot. Now, be very, very care careful. Do not drop the processor inside the slot or do not touch it with your fingers. Um, it will damage that motherboard. All right, so we're just putting that processor right inside that slot. And it's in there. The dimples are all lined up. Try to get you a closer look at it. And now we need to just put our retention clips on. So the right side, then the left side. All right, it's locked into place. Now we just need to apply some of our heat paste that we use from Shinetsu Microsci. Uh, we really just need like a pen cap right in the top, right in the middle of the processor. You don't need a ton of heat paste because um, that's going to spread across that CPU. So now we do have old thermal grease on our heat sink. We want to clean that off before we reinstall the heat sink. Um, and toilet paper is an amazing way to remove old heat paste. So we've taken off a little bit before we actually showed it on this video, but now we're just doing the final touches, cleaning it up, making sure it's nice and clean for the new heat paste. All right, so it's really, really clean. Now we just need to install it. You can see on the motherboard where it says CPU fan side, we're just gonna go ahead and 
do that and then plug your processor fan back into the motherboard. Now, if you forget to do that, it'll complain to you, to you on post. And then we need to tighten all uh, all four of our screws um, so that the heat sink is secure to the processor. And you can emulate how we're doing it. And again, we do this by hand. We don't use power drills because we don't want to break off any of those screws. Okay, so our heat sink is back into place. Let's go ahead and reinstall our cooling shroud. All right, and once that's clicked back into place, make sure it's flush with the side panel so that you can click your side panel back on. And then go ahead and put your side panel back on. All right, now we're, we're able to go ahead and plug our system back in. Now we booted into the F10 setup. It gives you this cool utility if your BIOS is up to date. Um, under basic in system information, we can see our E5 2643 V3 proc is working. And, and then under advanced, it's also uh, working just perfectly. So the fact that we're even getting video is, I mean, it's good. If you're not getting video, your processor is either not compatible or you're missing a microcode update. All right, so we're loaded into Windows 10. We're going to go into the device manager and take a look at the processors. Make sure there's no ye yellow exclamation points. Um, showing up as 12 threads. It's a six-core CPU. So we do see 12 threads in the device manager. And then we'll go into system. Okay. All right, so we see our E5 2643 V3 processor. All right, so everything is complete on this install. It's pretty simple. If this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, also, we do monthly giveaways on GreenPCGamers.com Facebook page. Uh, please like our page to qualify for those giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.